there are many things that we can see just by using our eyes. On this plant we can pick out the leaves, the stem, the flowers and even look at closer detail at things like the thorns. For all the things that we can see there are many more things that we cannot and in this video we're going to learn how to use a microscope to view those very small things. So if we break down the word microscope we see it comprises of the word micro which means extremely small and scope, which means to look at. So some examples of some extremely th small things that we might want to look at under a microscope include things such as small organisms, such as this mite in the image. It could be that we want to look at bacteria, or maybe even a virus. Small organisms that we can't see with the naked eye are called microorganisms, and hence we need a microscope to view these microorganisms. If we wanted to look at some cells under the microscope, for example, we would spread a small sample of cells on the glass slide. We would add a few drops of dye, for example iodine, to stain the cells. And then we would place a cover slip on top. Now we're ready to view them under the microscope. The parts of the microscope that we need to be able to name are the eyepiece, which is where you view the image, the objective lens, the stage upon which you put your prepared slide, the focus knob or the focus wheel, and there'll often be two of those, one coarse focus and one fine focus, and finally the arm with which you carry the microscope. In order to view your image, you would first select the objective lens with the lowest magnification, turn the coarse focus knob and then the fine focus knob until the image is in focus and then select the next objective lens with a higher magnification and refocus the image and you would repeat this until you can view your object at the highest magnification. In order to work out how many times magnified your image is you will need to do a simple microscope calculation and that is magnification is equal to the eyepiece times the lens. So if you look at the eyepiece, that will have a number on it, which is often, but not always, 10. And then each of the lenses will also have a number on them. So you can see the yellow one here is 10, and next to that the red one is 4, and the one to the left, which you can't quite see, is 100 times. So when you do your calculation, you do the number on the eyepiece multiplied by the number on the lens you are using. So in this case, we would have a magnification of 10, from the eyepiece multiplied by 10 from the lens which means we will be viewing our object at a hundred times magnified. Hi guys if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSERevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher check out the key stage 3 package from Science Surgery at ScienceSurgery.com. This features all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more key stage 3 resources.